Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone, from wherever you're joining us. This is the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute public meeting for testimonials, and it's the 16th uh, month that we've been holding these. Today is Monday, March 12th, 2018. I'm your host, Flint Mulhausen, and we have some other hosts joining us soon here. So... What's new in your life? What's new with the uh, plasma experiences that you've had over the past month or months? And uh, please speak up and share your testimonies. Anybody want to start first? Anybody? Oh, okay. Well, it could be a very short meeting then if there's someone who wants to speak up about their experiences. So. I'll jump in. Uh, no oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> I just no jump in. I've got lunch waiting for me and a coffee, but I'll jump in. I shattered my elbow on Mother's uh, Woman, uh, International Women's Day, the 8th of March. So you did break it? Nope. Well, I say shattered. It certainly felt like I shattered it. But, um, and the first day I couldn't type and I could hardly move my elbow. And the second day I discovered I could type and I just couldn't bring my hand to my mouth. And how I remedied it was with CO2 pain pads. Um, I did use some Arnica cream as well, but I just placed one CO2 pain pad of, let's say times one and another one times two parts. Um, and uh, I also sprayed it in my mouth. And now I can do everything completely like I never injured it. And that was March 8th, today is the 12th, so four days. And if you could see it, the concrete stair, the edge of it went right between my um, the two bones leading to the elbow. And it was an incredible pain. And the first thing I remembered to do was to send the pain to my soul to help transform it. And it did. <laughs> and I was sitting on stairs, uh, just when you come into the house, it, it, there's a set of stairs to go upstairs. I was just sitting on there, feeling like I was going to pass out, but remembering to breathe, remembering to send the energy to my soul to help me transmute it. And uh, eventually I was able to clear the light bulbs that were going off or the lights that were going on in my head. And I, it was a really, really painful experience. But with the CO2 pain pads and um, some Arnica cream and Arnica homeopathic uh, pills, I am as if I did nothing. I still have a pretty bad scrape on my elbow, but my elbow, my hands, my fingers, everything. I, the, the hardest one was not being able to drink with my right hand. I'm so used to using my right hand for everything. So I'm just attesting to, once again, CO2, its marvelous healing abilities and our own healing abilities to, to bring our pain to our soul, to ask our soul to help us work it through. Uh, I'm so grateful for the plasma technology. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, those those CO2 pain pads work. Oh, yes. There's no doubt in my mind that they they are amazing. And you know, Yeah, go ahead. I have a set I made for myself also. And, uh, yeah, put it on knee or elbow, like you said, or hands or even for headache, just on your neck. <laughs> Works wonders. So I missed the first 10 minutes. Are we not having a lot of people? Uh... I started about 10 minutes late waiting for people to come in. Uh. <clears throat> so you're the first one to speak up. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Danny. <laughs> Only one lash today. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of had the time of the, of the German testimony meeting in my mind, so... Um. I would have had another quarter minute, quarter hour, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, we were hoping to see um, 
Chanel tonight and Evelyn. At, I don't see the two of them there yet. So maybe anyone else would like to share with us. Libby has shared her story. I just got a little bit of it. And Flynn, have you shared anything yet? Hmm. Well, just a little bit about my pain pads that I've had, but I don't have too much problem. I did stub my toe real bad uh, over the Christmas break. And um, about like hitting your elbow there, Libby. Yeah, I was in a lot of pain myself. And it still does hurt a little bit, but uh, yes, I use CO2 on it. And I actually had some lotion that I had made with CO2 in it that worked wonders. Very good. Yeah. Anyone else having any falls or experiments or experiences that he or she would like to share? Hi, Dean. Hi, Dani. So, uh, I'm uh, Daniel from Romania. Uh, I would say <laughs> Uh, for uh, lombosciatic uh, zone uh, lombosciatic in where is the uh, kidney, kidneys no i have a uh, pain i can no i can uh, impasse uh, i can move uh, my ski my legs my shoulder i take uh, one Two bottles, one uh, of uh, CO, uh, CO2, uh, another uh, it's, uh, CO2 and uh, zinc oxide. Uh, when you are, I put uh, one uh, front uh, stomach and another back, it's not a uh, effect. I I put uh, together one uh, in left side. And another on the right side, uh, back, back. Uh, after ten minutes, it's a uh, pain. It pass. This is it for me, for the moment. Wonderful. Thank you. Anyone else like to share? It's a pity we don't have Jalal here yet. He had to show one of his um, flowers that he he had treated with CO2, I think, and it has grown. Yeah, the amaryllis. Massive. Yes, amaryllis, yes. Look beautiful. And I know Evelyn has made beautiful pictures from frozen Gans water. And I think she even has pictures of tritium and CH3 and zinc oxide. And uh, so I'm hoping she will. She will still join. But while we're waiting, would anybody else like to share their findings or experiments or any stories, pictures, anything? I'd like to just jump in while we wait for someone. And I know I'm trying to stay in the background. Ha, ha, ha. Um, but one of the things Mr. Cash mentioned in this last workshop, which is so important for us to realize, is that our testimonials are very, very important to write down and put in a scientific way by saying what is our intention, what, was, what were we trying to achieve, 
what did we do and what was the final outcome what did we achieve and as we present here in this testimonial uh, workshop it's very helpful if we could then also go further with it and I'm not only speaking to everybody I am speaking to myself too but to remind us that it's so vital that we start recording this so that we can not for the fact that it can go into a plasma science journal although that is very important the very act of doing that helps other people take that leap to try this on themselves or on their pets or on their plants or whatever so don't hold back if you've had an experience please do come and share it with us and also write it down and send it into the plasma science journal when that does get opened i was very impressed how mr kesh was going to go around um the the way that scientific studies have been done and what he says is so true the people that are paying for the scientific study uh, already reach the conclusion that they want so the study is all lies generally speaking but when we do our own life experience from having used the ganses or whatever it is we're using to help improve our life that's our own and that's you know you're not going to lie about it you're, you've done it it works and it works for you that's all you have to say you don't have to advise anybody else to do it just that it works for you and this is what you did I just what well I while we're waiting for others to jump in I wanted to make sure people realized how important it is what what we're doing here absolutely thank you Libby yes you're right so I, I think it doesn't it doesn't matter really how small or how big your your observation is your experiment is um, if you feel that you have um, managed to learn from it or observe something this then it is absolutely valuable to to share with others so we can all learn from each other and we can replicate each other's um, experiments or experiences it doesn't matter if it's just a patch or a paint pen or or a little uh, reactor or or a water filter or anything really so yes please open your microphone or um, let us know in the chat if you have something to share to share we're really looking forward to hear from you yeah danny here's barbara yes hello um, barbara ich, i have a question but i have a picture also which i want to chair um, um, okay. what is this about Barbara what kind of picture it's, you have it's um, um, how I put the um, gans into a bottle um, from a small tube I, I show you the picture then it's easy <laughs> just a moment so then we see of inhalt teilen glaube ich photos well, it was here already, but where is it now? This one and this one. Let's see Well, this is one picture. I put the the small tube, I don't know how the name is for this tube. It's a vial. The, yes, okay, vial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a okay, vial. In the, bottom you can, in the bottom you can see this, the guns. Only in the in the tip of the bottle, also uh, down. Mm -hmm. the bottom. Yes, very good. One, one centimeter. Uh -huh. um, and the other one is filled with uh, uh, distilled water. So I put it in the in a normal water bottle to um, to transfer the information or the guns or the field into the water. The question is, does it work like this, and how much it needs to be connected 
let the water and the body take over the energy. What, what do you think? Do we have anyone who would like to answer that? All right. No, try if your intention was for it to connect, it will connect, no matter what. Uh, I didn't understand. What did you say, please? If your intention, if you're, yeah. when you did the um, joining of those two waters together, was for it to uh, share its fields, it will. My understanding, the question, the answer to your question is yes. But more importantly, is your intention. If your intention was for it to connect to the water in the bottle of water, then it will. That's how powerful we are. Yes. That's, so I would say yes. I know. But okay. the, the question, the second question, maybe I didn't uh, formulate right, but was how long it would take, I mean, to take over from the small body to the big body. body. From the tube to the body. Well, I would say you'd be safe within 24 hours, probably a lot less time, but I don't know if maybe somebody else can answer that. Because uh, if I, in this way, produce uh, guns water for drinking every day, so it, it's, uh, yeah, it's, whether it's, uh, maybe it could be within uh, just a second or a minute. Or does it need, as you say, maybe 24 hours? Oh, I don't think it takes that long, Barbara, but you know, it depends. Maybe someone who knows for sure uh, the details on that, but I would say it's very quick within. But yeah, because it's a plastic whale, uh, what do you say, whale? <laughs> a plastic bio. bottle, the, the yeah. bio, yes, from the laboratory. So if it would be from water, it would be maybe uh, from glass, made of glass, it would be maybe different, but it's made of plastic, unfortunately. Barbara, if you like, you can ask that question in, in German too, because maybe everyone might know. Well, I have an idea. We have all different. <laughs> yes, thank you, Christian. Yes. But, but I mean, was, what, what you, I didn't get it now. Did you, didn't you understand my question or did Yes, I, I did understand your question and I, I hope the others too. And uh, I have an idea for you. You can buy very cheap uh, pH meter from eBay for 10 euro or something like this. And if you measure CO2 cans, you can uh, uh, liquid plasma, you can clearly see a difference in the, uh, in the values. Uh, it's uh, most probably around 8 to 8.6. Um, but it, maybe it does depend on the uh, original um, water level of the, uh, the pH level of the water, which is... <clears throat> no. Because I'm not in Germany. I cannot uh, buy easily things from eBay or so. But I, I do have this, uh, what we call it, the... Um, um, Lackmus papier or this stripes for testing the pH, you mean, right? Uh, yes, this is all right. No, yeah. I didn't mean it. I mean uh, el electronic and device. The water, and the water which I have here has a pH of about 5.5 .5 or 6, very uh, low. So, oh, this um, is interesting, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter because always uh, the, when you have uh, the, the fields of the CO2 GANs, then you always get this kind of value. So then you will see it rise very much. And if you see it rising, you mm -hmm. know uh, the, uh, the fields are there. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, just as a, as a help uh, to find out for yourself when it is ready. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. It's Good idea. Even it's much better if I have a higher pH. <laughs> so for that, yeah. You will have it now because if you use CO2 GANs, you uh, can always get it. It's an old picture. I used it. I, this picture, it's not from here. I, I took it in Germany uh, more than one and a half year ago. 
And that time I didn't have this to measure the pH. Um, it was the first time I got this CO2 guns, CO2 guns, and um, so I just was trying. Yeah, but I will, okay, I will measure the pH. That's no problem. That I can do. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for showing beautiful pictures. It's, it's, it's also a question for me always. This is why I bought such a cheap measurement uh, device. Because uh, if you have them close together, the bottles, it is faster. And if you put them a, a bit more away, it will take some more time. Mm. It's always different. Yeah. Yeah, and also well, people the just... other question, sorry, the other question with it is, what is it, does it make a big difference whether it's a plastic whale, whale or, um, or from glass? So where the plasma can uh, spread easily, easily from um, through the plastic or through the glass material. We had people also experimenting with, with just bottles around the bottles. So uh, sometimes it was water bottles made from plastic and then people put their GANS bottles around this bottled water and, um, and sometimes putting it inside, yes. I think there's different ways and, and a good thing that Christian just mentioned is the pH, yes, I, I think uh, that's a good way, yeah. yeah. Well, it's yeah, very good it because if, if it's sure that CO, CO2 uh, elevates the PO, pH to, to where? To down or to up? As in, to, you, you said 8, right? So it's uh, alkali, alkaline. It's above eight. It's uh, here. It is about um, eight point six or eight point eight. It depends on on the situation, and, and it also. And what is your normal uh, level in the normal water? pH level. Um, it's you about take it seven. From the water tap. Yeah, seven point five or something. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, uh, there is a difference. Normally, you would say a, a glass container is better than plastic container, but uh, it's also a problem that the glass, uh, that the bottles uh, sometimes or almost always have a, a oh, uh, they get a layer inside of an artificial, I don't know the word for it, uh, wax. Can somebody translate that? Uh. Wax. Bee wax? Bee yes, wax? it's from not beans. not from bees. It's an artificial wax. They do it. Yeah. They put it inside the bottle so they don't break it as easy. And uh, if you uh, uh -huh. and then there's different kinds of glass and there's different kinds of uh, plastic. So I would, if you can measure it, then you are sure. Yet then you know. And uh -huh. it, also yeah. this this high pH where you you only get with CO two gans. For example, if you take the CH3, it will be lower. Mm -hmm. okay. It's more acid direction then. Mm -hmm. C, uh, CH3? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Sorry if I misspelled. Yeah, no, 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 no problem. I, I'm not, it's not better with me. Okay, then thank you very much. I will try and let you know next time. Thank you for sharing, Barbara, and thank you for your comment, Christian. Thank you for oh, your oh. help. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. I see we have Evelyn in here now. Evelyn, are you ready to show us some of your beautiful pictures? Kannst du mich hören, Evelyn? Ja, soll ich sie zeigen? Ja, gerne. Evelyn is going to show us her pictures from when it was quite cold in the Austria, I believe. Ja, Wien. Mhm. In Vienna, okay. Das ist CH3. CH3. Und das Wasser oben. Da ist keine Kugel drin. Das hat sich selbst gebildet durch das Wasser. 
So the CH3 Gans is on the bottom and uh, CH3 water on top. And she says there's a, there's a bit of a ball in the middle that has has formed. Yeah. Yeah. This is key for one. It's frozen, yeah. Das ist destilliertes Wasser in einem Gefrierfach. Da ist nichts drin gestanden, nur ein destilliertes Wasser. So this is um, distilled water that has been in the freezer. And uh, your house is full of fields, I believe, yeah? Ja, das ist auch destilliertes Wasser. So this too is distilled water. Das auch. The same picture. Und das auch. And that is also another picture of frozen CO2. Um, oh, distilled water, sorry, distilled water, yeah. Das ist Deuterium. Okay, Deuterium. Das auch. Same. Da hat sich irgendwas geformt in der Mitte, ne? Ja, so wie ein Baum. <laughs> yeah, looks like a tree, yeah. Das auch nochmal. And again, Deuterium. Das ist um, Fullerin C60 uh, mit Shungitwasser. So, this is Fullerin C60 with Shungai water, if I pronounce that right. That's just the water, it's nur das Wasser, ja? Das Wasser, ja, das auch. Und das stand draußen oder im Gefrierfach? Na, das ist vergessen worden. Das die Flaschen sind im Auto gelegen, wie es so stark gefroren hat. Okay. So those are bottles that have been forgotten in the car and uh, it started to get cold outside and, and the bottles froze. Das auch. Ist auch Fullerin C60 und das auch. We don't see anything. Wir können nichts sehen gerade. Wir können nichts sehen? Nein. Es ist nichts zu weißer Bildschirm mehr. It looks like a whiteboard suddenly appeared there, right? Also bei mir läuft es aber weiter. Du, du, das ist die Windows-Foto-Anzeige. Die sieht man, aber da ist kein Bild drauf zu sehen. Vielleicht ist das Falsche freigegeben. Uh, ich tue nochmal stoppen. Ich tue nochmal neu. Uh. Dann muss ich nochmal auch mit zumachen. Uh. Ja, das, das war noch mal, jetzt weiß ich gar nicht, wo ich bin. Moment. Ach, das ist jetzt ganz von Anfang. Also da muss ich nochmal zurückgehen. Ah, da, ja, genau. Das ist, seht ihr das jetzt? Ja, jetzt sehen wir das. Das ist Fullerin. Das ist Fullerin und schon weit. Hm. Das ist nochmal ja. drei. Das ist CA3. CH3. Ähm, dann habe ich, das ist Lerchennadeln ganz. Lerchennadel ist für rheumatische Schmerz, Verrunkel, Erkältung, Atemwege, Entzündung. Das ist ganz Wasser. Okay, this is um, ganz water from a tree. I don't know the English word for it now, but I'd say it could be the tree in, in the background. It is for rheumatoid uh, diseases and um, infection. Um, yeah, it. Well, you were saying like breathing. Pine, pine? Yeah. yeah, must be kind of pine. Yeah. Das auch, dasselbe. That is the same. Das auch. The same, yeah. It's beautiful pictures. Wow. Looks like the earth or the sun, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Das auch, das war am, am, am Boden von, den, von, den, von der Flasche. Das schaut aus wie ein Blatt. 
Das ist der Boden, den du formuliert hast. Das ist in der Flasche, da sieht dann der Sitzplatz aus wie ein Blatt geformt. Uh, so that is the bottom of the bottle that she photographed. And that looks like a leaf, yeah. Um, das ist uh, Tritium. Das Tritium is a ganz water, yeah. Ganzes Wasser, ja. Aber es wurde nicht mit Blitz fotografiert. Das leuchtet von innen selber so. Okay, so it looks as if it's shining from the inside. Very interesting. Dasselbe. Same again. Ja. Und das auch nochmal. And another one. Das ist Wasserstoff. Das ist so ähnlich. So that is hydrogen gas water. Looks a bit like the previous one. Hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide or Wasserstoff, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Und das ist Zinga. Das ist gut, das kommt aus dem amazonischen Gebiet und ist gut für die Schädelhöhlen- und Nasenhöhlenreinigung. Das Wasser, ganz Wasser. Uh, you see a sky there already. Did you use it? The Singa ganz water? Ja, Singa. Das ist für die, für die ähm, Gehirnhöhlen und Nebenhöhlen. Reinigt den ganzen, den ganzen Kopf. Yes, yeah. I, I, wrote, I, I read about it, but it, was, it sounds quite horrible. The, because of the ingredients. Because of the ingredients. Also, ich sage es ja auch noch auf Deutsch. Also, ich habe das gelesen zu Zinga. Und ja? Diese Inhaltsstoffe, das war ziemlich. Ähm, fürchterlich <lacht> äh, die, die Wirkung, wie das, was das im Kopf machen soll oder so. Achso, na, habe ich das noch keine Erfahrungen davon, dass es wem geschadet hat. Aber wehgetan oder, oder, oder ganz, so ganz heftig, so ganz stark soll das ja, Vielleicht, wenn man es in der materiellen Weise nimmt, aber vielleicht das ganze Wasser doch anders ist in der Wirkung. Ja. Weil es ausgleicht. Ja, gut. Von der Materie mhm. her kann es schon sein, dass es anders ist. Ja. Okay. Ich finde das ganz wunderschön. Das sieht nämlich so aus, als ob sozusagen diese Strahlen und diese Bläschen so alle außerhalb dieses ähm, Schädels da oder dieser, dieser Hohlkugel in der Mitte sind. Und da kann man sich so richtig vorstellen, dass das entsprechend innen reinigend oder sowas wirken könnte. Also jetzt einfach mal so nach dem Bildeindruck. Mhm. Wie eine Bürste, ne? Dasselbe ist auch Zinger. Das ist auch Zinger, wieder anders fotografiert in einer Flasche. Can I ask you how it is spelled, Zinger? Ja. Wie, wie buchstabiert man Zinger? Ist das Z I N? Zeppelin, Nieder, Nordpol, Gustav, Anton. Zina oder wie? Mit Z Zinger, Gustav, Zin. Aha. Ah, okay. So it's Z I N G A. Singer. Never heard from it yet. Oh, I tried out on Google, but I couldn't find anything. Yeah, um, Everly was saying it's to clear up the uh, the breathing airways towards your brain. That's how I understand that. Don't know how you call it. Das ist auch das Singer noch. Beautiful. IG is not uh, silver. Das ist um, ZNO und CO2, ganz Wasser. Zinc oxide and ganz water. Sorry, what, what were you saying there? There was somebody mentioning something? Didn't understand that. That's all of them beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, 
Wonderful pictures, thank you. May I ask something, Ebeli? Yeah. <clears throat> Um, did you find any, um, in one moment you said, oh, uh, this is uh, hydrogen and this tritium and it's a bit alike. Did you find more things that are alike or in contrast to the other one? So you can see any anything that uh, helps you to understand the GANs? This is one question and then there is another one. Um, did you experience... Uh, that when looking at uh, the the glass, the eyes, uh, that this also has an effect. Wenn du die Frage noch in Deutsch stellen magst. Oh, sehr gerne. <laughs> Dann klingt sie auch vernünftig. Thank also, you. Uh, die eine Frage war, ob du Ähnlichkeiten oder Unterschiede festgestellt hast von ganz Art zu ganz Art hin, so wie du das mal kurz andeutetest bei Wasserstoff und Tritium ganz dass das ein bisschen ähnlich wäre. Ja. Und die andere Frage, ob durch das Anschauen einfach dieses gefrorenen, also dieses Eises in diesen Formen mit diesen Bläschen, Streifen, Strahlen, ob das an sich auch eine Wirkung schon hat, eventuell durch das Wahrnehmen. Ich kann das bei mir nicht sagen, weil ich habe so viel Plasma im Haus und bin so ausgeglichen, dass ich selber überhaupt nichts mehr wahrnehme dass ich sage, das ist gut und das ist nicht gut. Das geht einfach nicht, weil ich bin so plasmatisiert, dass ich immer nur das von den anderen hören werde, wenn sie kommen, wenn sie mich besuchen oder wenn wer kommt, der sehr feinfühlig ist, der kann das für mich bestätigen. Ich selber kann das nicht wahrnehmen. Ich bin da so ausgeglichen, dass ich da keine, keine Unterschiede merke, weil ich so viel im Haus habe. So the answer to Christian's question, whether Evelyn can, can notice or feel the differences of the GANs, so she was saying she has so many GANs and so many fields in her house, um, that it is very hard for her to distinguish one from the other. And she can only learn by giving them away and then receiving feedback. I weiß nicht, dass meine Hunde nichts mehr fressen, alle drei Tage nur mehr. Und die trinken nur viel Plasmawasser, aber fressen tun sie fast nichts mehr. Aber sie nehmen kein Gewicht. Evelyn is saying that her dogs hardly eat anything, so maybe every three days they would eat something and they're mainly taking plasma water in, so um, there's a big difference to see for her. Thank you. Bitte. Yeah, thank you, Evelyn. Waren das deine Fragen schon beantwortet, ja, Christian? Everything answered? Ähm, ja, so ist es eben gegen anscheinend, ne? Also, denke <lacht> ich. Danke. Ich hätte das jetzt genommen als Nein zu dem visuellen Eindruck, dass der eine, eine Wirkung macht, weil das nimmt man ja nicht durch die Unausgeglichenheit aus, sondern auf, sondern ähm, so wie ein Kunstwerk, was ja auch zu einem sprechen kann, ohne dass man dafür unausgeglichen sein müsste. Okay, Evelyn, hast du darauf noch eine Antwort? Du, ich ich mache das einfach mal selber. Ich habe das schon mal gemacht, aber nur mit einer Gansorte, die es einfrieren. Ich mache das mal selber, und weil mir kam diese Frage eben und äh, dann gehe ich dem einfach selber mal nach und schaue. Okay, ja, yeah, thank you. Yeah, Christian was just wondering um, if, if it's hard for somebody to feel the differences in the fields, um, whether there is a, a difference visible just by looking at the fields and then to see what comes up, what direction is and how different different they are or if they're different at all. So, but he will go and um, do the experiment himself now. Great, thank you. Thank you for sharing, Evelyn, and thank you, Christine. There's somebody else here in the chat who would like to share his experiences and also pictures about, yes. about a skin treatment on a leg, maybe melanomia. I can't uh, read the name, I'm not sure now, but I'm sure we've had you before. Um, your last name is Likudis. Can you hear me? 
Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, hello, we can hear you. Can you give us your name again? Sorry. Vangeli Nikudis. Yes, Vangeli, I remember you. Hello, how are you? I had a testimonial last year. Yes. About uh, my bad spine and all that. But now I have a skin treatment that I managed to correct. And I have a lot of pictures that I took uh, daily. And because it's a lot of them, I think I posted to you by we transfer because it's too many. Unless you want me to put it on screen and you can see. Well, depends. How many do you have? Well, it's a lot of them. It's two daily since. Well, must be about 60, 80. 60 or 80, that is a lot, yeah. Um, I don't know, Flint, are you there? What do you think? Um, should they be sending well, you? Can, you can select the top 10 or 12 or something like before and after is all we really need to see, or before, during, after. Or maybe you can give me an email and I can post it to you so you can see it because it's amazing. It is uh, from from a dark spot, very dark. My doctor thinks it was a melanoma, but uh, the skin doctor that I visit afterwards, uh, he thinks it's not a melanoma, but he never saw the thing. Anyway, I have this uh, from the beginning when it started to getting swollen and then after the swelling it fell off and now it's a yeah. clear skin go ahead and share if you got something to share there if you can direct me because i don't know how to do it open up the picture first yes once the picture is open on your zoom bar there you'll see a green button that says share screen Wait a minute, where do I do that from? On the Zoom window yeah. that has the uh, microphone unmute button and everything in the middle there is going to be the share screen. Green. Select the model speaker. Select the camera. No. Where is that? Share screen, the green one. Yes. And then I draw and the then, pictures into this. And then. That opens up a window of, of, of uh, open yes. applications. You scroll down in the second row there, you should see your pic your picture that you oh, shared. Yes. Okay, see them. Click, so, on it, click on it once to highlight it green and then hit share screen. Can you see? Yes. Now, as far as this, you, you shared your... Um, Windows Explorer window, if you open up any one of these pictures, you're going to have to um, share that picture. So let me go from the beginning then. Click one. Click one. Uh, click uh, one photo. Okay, now that opened you up an application. No, that opened up that picture in another application, so you're going to have to hit new share button there. It says it's a green button that says new share and zoom. And then you choose the picture that just was opened up. I can see it on my screen now. What do I see? You don't see that? No, because you have to share it. Oh, I see. It's in another window. So you hit new see, share. On the top, <laughs> click the green new share. Yeah, okay. and the new share you will find on the top of your Zoom window now. When you are already in oh, share. I've lost now. I've lost. Mm -hmm. Is it on share now? I don't know. No. Sorry. Um, hit. Do you see I the hit. green new share? Wait, I made a. Now I hit share screen. Yes. And you and you want to pick the I, large I picture it. that's yeah. It you want to pick the large picture first. that's opened up. Yes. Am I supposed to open the picture first? Yes. yes. Otherwise, it gives you the whole thing, huh? So I must go back. Excuse me for a second. I'll 
It's the first time I'm doing it and I don't know how. We all have to learn. It's okay. <laughs> Now anything I open, it opens in another screen, and it's not on your screen, huh? Why is that? Yeah, now you go back into the Zoom, and yes, something is happening now. Um, click on this picture, on the first picture, and then move your mouse to the top. And click new share again. I start from the beginning, but okay. I must have open must open the pictures before. Yeah, you can open because the picture now, and then you go on to share screen, and then you can use the, the the arrow and just move to the next picture. Now you just click on share screen, the green button. May I ask you a question, Danny? Can you see your chat when you're hosting? Because I've got a message for you from someone. I can see the chat, yes. Great, I'll send you a message. Thank you. Can you see now? Fantastic, Angelis. Well done. Very good, yeah. Hello? Yes? Did you see the picture? You can see the picture. Very good, yeah. Thank you. Well, this is from the beginning, mm -hmm. but it's not exactly the beginning. That stain that you see here, it used to be very dark, nearly black. And uh, I didn't expect it to be better, but uh, what I did, uh, I did uh, the amino acid from the top of the of the box that I make uh, the guns. I used to touch my finger and take only amino acids from the top and rub it on. And then, uh, if I carry on, you see the difference. Now I have dates on, I think. Can you see by date? Yes. This one is from October, 15th of October last year. It took some time, but you see how it goes. It changes slowly, you see? Yeah, we can see, yeah. Now we are about one, five days later. And it starts swelling, if you can see. Am I going too fast? No, you're okay. Well, some of the pictures are not very good, but mainly this is it. And there you see it started uh, reacting now. Now we are on November. So no, you said you, you put CO2 or CH3? What did you put on? I used to make uh, the blue stuff, you know. I don't call it anything because I don't know what it is. When I'm making guns from uh, copper, nano-coated and plain copper. Okay. No, I must say the rest because it's another... Uh, it's another picture. Let me... Let me open the next, because from January I have a new thing. Now, can you see this one? You have to stop share first and then uh, open the new I file. have to start new share, yes, yeah. sorry. Yeah. No problem. Is that right? Perfect. 
Well, now we are on last December 28. And uh, it goes on like this. It's getting swollen. You see how it became? Looks like it's getting bigger, huh? You see? Mm -hmm. That's peeling off. There is bleeding all over it on the sides. And that is January 19th, 20th. Getting smaller. I think it's peeling really off when I'm washing and I didn't understand that. You see, getting smaller and smaller. And at some stage it fell off altogether, it was just a scar tissue. There it is, it fell off and I'm carrying on the treatment. I used to piece, uh, put a piece of cotton wool and just uh, a band-aid on top of it. I don't, these marks that you see on my leg, it's because I pulled off the, the band-aid too hard. There it is, you see it fell off now. And that is on February the 5th. And there it is, disappearing. And now I'm showing another one, which is, it was the same, and it got brown. This is just a little bit higher than the previous one. You see that one? That gets smaller too. Can I ask you what kind of water you was using again? I was using the amino acids from on from the top of the box. I was making guns for uh, uh, CUO. Okay, so it's amino acids from CUO. Yes, I was putting it on, but then I decided to put uh, CO2 water, just plasma water without guns, on top of it. And then I had a piece of cotton wool with... Uh, just sticking your top and keeping it wet and that helped a lot and now i'm using it on the other one which is getting smaller too which is that was a very small one anyway i've got both of them now appearing on the screen it's and very good but are you using cuo amino acids and co2 water at the same same time now no, when it was dry, after the, after the amino acid was dry. Then you apply the CO2 water. A few hours later, yes, I kept most moisty with uh, CO2 water. Very good, because the question was asked in the chat. Thank you so much. There you see. Now it is 14th of February. And then I found another one, which I think it started coming on, and I didn't realize, so I started treating it with just water. I think I have it here, 21st. There you see now, the, there's a smaller one. I don't know if you can see my cursor. Yes, we can. That one started getting on, and then uh, I worked on it, and today it's not there anymore. This is the previous one, you see. And that one is getting red. This is the beginning, the one that disappeared. It, it, I have a stain there, but now you can see that one, the small one, there you see. It reacts the same way. It's getting 
darker and thicker. And after that, the thing is uh, final stage. And then it falls off uh, like a scar. It's very good. There it is. Now the small one is getting smaller. And today I cannot find the small one, the new one. There it is, you see. It's getting pink and disappearing. This is the whole leg. This is the old one, the big one. That was a new one that is disappearing, and that is the one that's getting smaller and smaller. And that is on the third, eleventh of this month, yesterday. And that must be the final. That's today. You see, the one, the small one disappeared. It didn't have the chance to grow. I think. And uh, the other one, which looks like a more, it also gets smaller. That was the last one. Thank you for seeing this. I'm very happy I did it. I didn't believe I was uh, going to have a success. But... Uh, well, we happy. are happy you did it. And we are happy you had success that we can see it and that you took pictures of it. Thank I'm you. sorry, I don't have pictures from the beginning when it was black. Now nobody believes that it was uh, a melanoma or something because my doctor thinks so. But the skin doctor thinks it's not a melanoma. Well, it does disappear. It did. And so. did you see the second one, the small one, it didn't have the chance to grow bigger. Now I'm looking around to see if I have any other spots to, to cure. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Anyway, this is what I had to do. Sorry, I've been away for too long, but I had a problem, a health problem. Last year that we were talking, I gave you a picture of uh, the pain coil I made, which is a very big success. I give it to friends and they don't give it back to me. I lend it to you, you know, they say I have a sore back or a sore leg or something. And I say, try this and you tell me. And then they don't want to give it back. Yeah, I'm happy was, for that. It, it was the one in the backpack, yeah? <laughs> yes, I used to use it in the back. Remember, I had three yeah. of them together strapped. Yeah, I remember it. Uh, I used to put it on my back like a backpack. And I'm still doing it, but my my spine is a uh, thing ninety percent cured. I have a very, a very bad spine, so anyway, thank you very much. This is what I had to show. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> thank you very much, Frankas. Thank you for sharing with me. Wonderful. Thank you. It's a great success. Should I stop sharing? How does it stop? Yes. I think Flint will fix it. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Flint. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Do we have anyone else who would like to share their beautiful experiences and experiments? Please feel free. Uh, yeah. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Adrian, I'm from Romania. Uh, I uh, want to show my experience. Uh, my experience is based uh, on Agra Field. Uh, I am uh, I'm, I'm showing for you uh, the magnetic fields from uh, Magra system uh, from energy. Uh, is possible uh, can uh, open my camera, please? Yes. Okay, thank you. Ah, it's not, not, ah, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, on my table is uh, six uh, manga. Um, then, uh, 
uh, uh, configuration. Uh, I am uh, here on electron an electromagnetic pen. Uh, you say this only. And here I'm, I am on a magnetic pen. At this moment, I disconnect Magrav from uh, grid. Uh, the TV stop, uh, the light bulb stop. Look at this moment. The system Magrav is not connected to grid. This is magnetic field from Magrav. And electromagnetic, not, there's nothing. Put from grid the system. Electromagnetic field. Stop the Magrav from grid. Not electromagnetic. Again, stop, and this is magnetic field from Magrat system. And just a moment, put on grid the system. Look, this magnetic field is very, very strong. It is on a matter from the magnet. Stop. And I don't like it. Nothing. Complain. And I don't like it. And magnetic field is very strong. This is my experience from uh, my field from the Magrav at this moment. Thank you. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you very much for sharing. It's great to see everyone doing experiments and coming up with conclusions and new ideas. Thank you very much. Do we have anyone else who would like to share, to show something or to tell us about their experiences with the cashew technology? Old picture one year ago. With yeah. dance and fear. Sure, you want to show picture, is it? Yeah. I share my screen. Okay, I have a copper, paper copper, nano coat, uh, outside of a reactor of uh, CO2. Uh, this is, uh, I turn, no? One, uh, one face, it's nano coat, it's uh, okay. Another face of uh, this pipe, it's white, white, white. Uh, inside of uh, this here, I have a, uh, I don't know, it's uh, you see picture of, okay, wait. Maybe perhaps it's better now. Hello, okay. Uh, this is reactor of uh, CO2. Here I have a reactor of uh, lead, no, uh, plume, lead. Uh, one face where uh, it's uh, from reactor, it's white. Another way, it's, it's interact of the, when Mr. Kesh uh, say, why uh, don't use uh, outside of box? No. Is that a copper tube, or yeah. what is that tube? Copper, copper, copper tube. Look. 
Okay. It's interact of uh, two fields. Uh, this is uh, when uh, turn turn to color of uh, white or green, uh, no green, uh, another color. No, this uh, piece of lead and a nano cup, a nano coat lead. Uh, turn uh, with slow current. When you stop, uh, when you I stop the uh, alimentation of uh, current of this, I met uh, this uh, charger of tele or phone inside of a box of uh, CO two, and uh, it's guns uh, change the color. Okay, what what color was it? Uh, first, uh, it's uh, mm, br no brown, uh, silver, silver mm -hmm. color. Uh, after one week, uh, it's uh, this, uh, it's white, and after another week, uh, it's uh, mm, like uh red uh, like a uh, oxide uh, of uh, iron color wow well, okay okay i make this picture okay uh, another one month ago when you show uh, this uh, separate of field no in the guns what it collect these two okay yeah and uh, this uh, little uh, magrao i aliment uh, with a uh, free cell no of current and one lead uh, after one month, I it's uh, like they uh, shine, but uh, very weak. But it is constant. Uh, I have a current from this nano coat. It's charged, no? Well, after one day on this. Uh, Three little pair of current, uh, it consume. But this mini reactor, mini magrav, recharge uh, this and it's light. Okay. Okay. Another. Crystal made I have one. Uh, one year ago in the CO CH3 in the temperature of a uh, room, not uh, outside. Uh, it's uh, not washing. I don't uh, wash uh, first gas. It's this uh, beautiful crystallization of my gans, the my gans. Right. Can you make that bigger by any chance or? Yes, yes, I, okay, click. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh, in same time, my reactor of CO2, uh, first I started with a cell phone, with a recharger of cell phone, uh, I take this uh, I, this stack of uh, grid and put uh, in same reactor. It's uh, a fair. It uh, the react uh, reaction of uh, CO two. It's intense after twenty four hours. It's like a, when you met the current. 
but uh, I don't uh, have the connection in of uh, grid. No. So this is CO2 now or CH3? Uh, this is uh, CO, no, no CO2, uh, copper oxide, copper oxide, if you remember right. Uh, another slide, it's CFC, it's a more flat. No. It's a uh, uh, 50 centimeter, centimeter of uh, my magrav. And so the crystals have built, you have current in there as well, you were saying, yeah? Or no current? No, no current. No current. After you, uh, when you <clears throat> collect uh, my gas in this bottle, and after two or three days, I see how we grow. That's very interesting. Okay. And, Can I just uh, ask a question, please? The water that those crystals grew in, yes. did that have any salt in there or was that distilled water? No, it's uh, ordinary water. Could you be more specific, please? Uh, yes, uh, it's uh, water of uh, how to say uh, of mountain of uh, okay, spring nat natural water. spring water. Okay, yes. Thank uh, you. This is uh, two bottles uh, patch. I say patch. Uh, what you use uh, for uh, my skin, my my lombosciatic uh, pain. Copper uh, CO2 and uh, CO2 and zinc. I use uh, two bottles. Yeah. So you, you had your water standing close to the to your reactor and they form crystals, is that correct, yeah? Uh, it's a uh, 20 centimeter of a uh, reactor and uh, 15 or uh, magrav when uh, make it to crystal. We need crystallization. It's but uh, it's first my first uh, gans when uh, you see this this is ch3 it's only in the bottom it's no high another it's uh, i think it's copper oxide or zinc zinc uh, I think it's uh, zinc because it's uh, another glass. Uh, this is the same again uh, outside, a uh, few, three or four uh, months ago. Crystal, uh, crystallized, but uh, no so beautiful. <laughs> Not so big. I don't. Oh. This is it for now. Okay. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very interesting experiments you're sharing. Thank you. Do we have more people who would like to share their experiments and experiences with the cache technology?
please feel free to open your microphone or leave us a message in the chat. We'd like to hear and see what you have. Can I share my experience? Hello? Yeah, Mr. Chen, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Because the next week, I can, last time, last month, I want to say something, but I, if it's the last time I say, <laughs> I haven't time to uh, continue. Now, really, this is really my experience. I have, um, what, what, uh, mm, I forget the name of the, mm, so I have a nasciatic, I have uh, hurt on my nasciatic, my sciatic nerve. It hurt very much on, uh, on my back and on my right uh, foot. I have, uh, it has about one week. I try to make against only, but it's, it uh, have no, no, no result at once. And I say to my friend, my friend say, hey, they, they have a stone, a bazan stone. He say, uh, Hit, uh, boil the, uh, hit the bazan stone and put on the, on your, where you have, uh, where it's hurt on you. And I put the bazan uh, stone, but it doesn't have a, a result to. And after, I, I think if I can com combine two at uh, the same time, and I put a patch, uh, a patch of uh, uh, CO2, and I put the stone, hit stone under the patch. And on one one night, the, 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 um, my pants gone at once. And uh, and after I I I cannot know what the bazaar stone is so good and i take a, a, a pendulum and i i i, I see on the bazan stone they have uh, energy to like a patch but the bazan i can hit it when the bazan is hit is uh, energy uh, can multiply seven times um, more time than uh, uh, cold stone. This is really my experience. I put the patch and the stone of Bazan hitting. It's gone at once. And that worked for you, the pain was gone, yeah? Huh? That worked for you and the pain was gone, yeah? Yeah, and the pain is gone at once, on one day. I have played with a patch for a week, and after I play only with a stone, but the, uh, the pain doesn't gone. But I uh, take two in the same time, the pain gone at once, on one day. Thank you for sharing, wonderful. Thank you very much. Do we have anyone else who'd like to share? I don't have anyone else on my list. Uh, yeah, I don't see Joel here yet either, so. Yeah, okay, thank you. I can share uh, my video with the reactor of CO2. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. 
Uh, my connection of the internet is uh, low, but I try to. I try, I pray. Uh, this is uh, one. Uh, I don't know if I have the sound or so no. You see, a charger of telephone or phone, it's inside of this box. It's not plug. Mm -hmm. I put I put in. I have a piece of zinc. Piece of oops, what happened? I lose my connection. Piece of zinc, piece of copper. It's three spiral of copper. I have a, perhaps I don't move my mouth. It's working. Okay. When I have I meet met uh, this uh, reactor, it's a uh, in right side CO two in the middle middle. It's a uh, copper oxide, and uh, in left side I have a uh, uh, first uh, iron and uh, copper nano, and after a zinc nano and uh, iron. Is my first uh, free reactor, but it's intense. It's a uh, fervescent. It's uh, like uh, like like a when you you have a current uh, when you plug, and after uh, twenty, not twenty. Yes. Uh, half day, half night, uh, this reaction uh, continues. I have uh, another, okay, back for, okay, another after 20 hours. You see, continue. It's very fluffy. It's like a zinc. Yes, zinc like you have a lot of gans in there, yeah. Yes, I surprised uh, when I met. First, I don't know what happened. Why? It still works. Okay. Can I ask you, in your box you have, uh, are those copper coils, yeah? Or? This, this is copper coil. One, two, three, three, four. Spiral of uh, copper. It's uh, huge. And uh, in the last, is another corner. I have uh, one piece of zinc, massive piece of zinc. Uh, I have, I, first I use uh, uh, one lead, no, one uh, electroluminescent uh, luminescent, uh, lead. Uh, after I use a fan, fan of a computer, computer fan. I put in in reactor in water. I put the fan the fan in the water. Yes, yes. I I use it like a resistor, like a something uh, from reduce my power of uh, for limited of. Uh, my charge telephone. Uh, 
and uh, in a box of uh, core oxide it's uh, in uh, from a wall of a reactor it's uh, like a mirror see it's uh, same with uh, the current and the connection of uh, two copper nano and copper with uh, one led okay this is my mirror <laughs> Okay. Yes, thanks for sharing the video. It's going a bit slow here. But, um, I know, I know. I'm sorry for but thank you for trying anyway. Thank you. Okay. Let's to share. Thank you very much. Do we have more people who would like to share anything? I believe we have the next testimonial meeting um, April 9th, 9th of April, which is the second Monday of the month, if I'm correct. Same time. And do you have yes. anything else, Clint? Yeah? No, you're so correct there. It's uh, Monday the 9th of April is the next one. Fantastic. Okay. So I hope until then we have more experiments that you would like to share with us. Thank you very much, everyone. And would you like to close, Lind? Yeah, sure. This has been the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. Yes, someone interrupt there? Yes, my name is Stan Anton. I am from Romania and I want to share something. Sure. It's uh, from 2016. I have made uh, some tests with water. You can see on the left side uh, an, uh, an ORP. This is oxygen reduction potential. Uh, this is water, normal water. You can see uh, this IRP is 447. I put in this glass uh, three drops from uh, CO2. And uh, after, uh, one moment. after 15 minutes was uh, 0 0.96. Was, uh, was an uh, amazing result. Uh, and uh, here, uh, you can see the picture? Yes, we can see. Okay, here is normal water, it's uh, 7 pH. I put uh, inside uh, about uh, five milliliter CO2 water and after 20 minutes uh, was uh, 8.59 pH. So you went from acidic to alkaline using CO2? Yes. And the, the other item you showed there, the device, measures the oxygen reduction, is that correct? Yes. From 400, uh, 447 to uh, 0 0.96. This is uh, unfiltered water. Uh, I have made a test in the labor. Uh, Thank you.
Thank you for sharing, Dan. You do a lot of laboratory testing, yeah? Uh, yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a, I have a, just a moment. Do you have more? Uh, yes. Okay. So this is uh, a bacteriologic test. Uh, you can see, uh, I have made the, te the test uh, from uh, our river in a bottle of uh, 250 milliliters. I put uh, 10 milliliters CO2. And uh, this uh, coli, E. coli. E. coli, mm -hmm. e. coli. It was, uh, was amazing. Uh, it was from uh, here for from two thousand uh, four hundred forty not nineteen to one thousand uh, one hundred. And did you use CO2 or? Only CO2 water. Only CO2. So river water with, with the E. coli content of over 2,000, you reduced to 1,000, yeah? Yes. Very good. I have, uh, if uh, we have time, I can show you more tests. Of course, yes, please. Uh, Dani, I könnte noch was sagen. Ja, gern. Ich glaube, wir warten noch auf Dan. Er hat uns noch was zu zeigen. Bitte schön. Yes, Evelyn is just saying she might have something to share. Uh, after that. Sorry, please. No, and uh, Dan, go ahead. You were just showing something there. Are you sharing your screen then? Yes, I... Uh, okay, please. thank you. <laughs> For this test, I have a black uh, ball from my wife. This is gold. And uh, nanowire is outside. You took your wife's gold, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. Does she know uh, about it? <laughs> no, I have keep it a black ball. And uh, you can see here is uh, it's a strange uh, reaction. It's like a hole in the glass. This is after four months. Uh, I have to start this right back. Is it dissolving the glass? Uh, no, the glass is okay, but uh, I don't know the strange things. See? Yeah, we see. Does it grow on the inside of the glass? Or? Maybe. Or is, yeah. It's a nano copper. Uh, well, it's outside. Uh, 
Okay, it's not a, a clear word because this is uh, about 18 color. No one's uh, one ring is uh, yellow, one ring is white gold. But this is the strange thing. Like a guns when they are attached to to Is there anything in the water? I mean, salt or anything? Uh, yes, for distillate water with uh, salt, three percent. I didn't get it. Three percent salt. Yes, in distillate water. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is that all, or do you have any more that you're sharing? Uh, I have some. Could I just ask a question about that picture, Dan? Did the uh, the 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 thing on the glass, the the the, the hoop looking, uh, which I reckon is probably Gans, did did that form? How um, how long after did that form? I mean, did the Gans form first, and and then that started to form? Uh, no, after. Yeah. First, okay. Uh, first appeared the dance and uh, after I think a few days. Okay, only a few days. But uh, the, now I understand why because uh, here I have made uh, these two. Records. Can you reshare that picture please? We cannot see anything. No, okay. And now, can no. you see it? Reopen, reshare. Okay. Now we can see the picture. It's yes. a different picture. It's a different picture, yes. Uh, what was the point? Why I think uh, this was happened? Because I have made these uh, two uh, reactors, yes, with pipes. In the vertical pipe, uh, CO2 water. In uh, horizontal pipe, I have a uh, CH3. Here, the same. Inside is uh, CO2, and here is CH3. Uh, but uh, I think the reactor was too close, on, and the field, fields have interacted. Now I know this picture is two years old. But uh, in the reactors, have uh, speeded the gas production when this, uh, this has moved. Okay, so to, um, if I'm understanding this correctly, these, this reactor setup that we see in front of us, you were saying that it was <clears throat> quite close to the uh, to the GANS production that we saw in the other picture with the hoop, and that hoop is a result of the field interaction between the GANS is produced and the fields coming out of the reactors. Exactly. Beautiful, thank it's you. What, it's, it's what I think, I don't know. Yeah, I think you're spot on. But, uh, I feel that uh, uh, 
a, a strong interact, a field interaction. Can you remember how far these reactors were from the GANS production bottle? Uh, about 20 centimeters. Okay, thank you. You can see in the picture. One is magnetical, another is uh, gravitational, interactive field. It's residual, uh, no, obtain what magnet you put. So, uh, thank you for today. I think it's enough. Uh, I have more experience to show you next, uh, next week. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Lynn. Thank you. Now, I know Evelyn has something she wants to show us. Evelyn, bist du da? Ja, ich kann euch noch Bilder zeigen um, von uh, gefrorenen Eiswasser von meinem Kühlschrank mit atomaren Gold mit Mikroskop. So, Evelyn has atomic gold that. She has a frozen state from the fridge that she wanted to share with us. Wow. Das waren jetzt Bilder innerhalb von ein paar Minuten, also ein paar Sekunden Abstand. Also vielleicht alle zwei Minuten habe ich das wieder fotografiert. Und diese kleinen Dinge haben sich alle bewegt wie kleine Spermienzellen. Die sind alle dann in die Mitte gewandert, ja. Du benutzt dieses Mikroskop, ja? Ja, es hat sich alles bewegt. So these are pictures um, Evelyn took with the microscope that has a camera attached to it. And she's saying these little pieces we see were in a constant move. So they were moving towards the middle and they were constantly um, moving around. And she took the pictures within a few seconds. Zum Schluss hat es das Ende zum Ende hat es dann so ausgesehen. Also das war alles in Bewegung. Man konnte das im Mikroskop sehen, also auf dem, auf dem, auf dem Bildschirm vom Desktop, wie das alles in die Mitte gewandert ist. Evelyn says she was able to, to see how it moved towards the middle while she was watching it on the screen. And this all happened in a few seconds. They, they all gravitated towards each other. Does this innerhalb von ein paar Sekunden passiert, Evelyn? I can say, vielleicht, vielleicht a minute immer dazwischen fotografiert. Immer ein, zwei Minuten dazwischen. Sie sagt, sie hat ungefähr alle zwei bis ein bis zwei Minuten um, ein Bild gemacht. Sorry, she was, <laughs> she was saying she took a picture every one or two minutes. Okay, thank you. And that is um, palladium gans water. Also palladium gans water? And CO2 with palladium, the gans water davon. Schaut aus wie das Universum. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a, like a universe, yes. And this is palladium and CO2. Ja, das wäre schon alles. Das war jetzt CO2 und Palladium, ja? Äh, ZMO, also 90% Zink, 10% CO2 und Palladium. Okay. Mon also Monatomar. There was 90% Zink Oxide and 10% CO2 and Monatomic Palladium. Ja. Okay. Beautiful pictures there, thank you. Okay, gerne. Thank you very much. I know we have a we have another one here. Vangelis would like to show his health um, device, his health coil. So when you're ready, Vangelis. Okay. I'll have a picture to share. Thank you.
this is a coil I made. <coughs> Remember I told you I, I used uh, uh, one unit of the McGraw, it is the gravitational magnetic coil and the ends are left them longer and uh, twist them around clockwise and anti-clockwise, like this. This is the coil I made and it works perfectly. This is how I cue my back, which is uh, something like that. <laughs> this is a damage. But this is for somebody if you want to to reproduce, you can do from that. Is that clear enough? Yes, thank you very much, Vangelis. Did you ever upload your testimonial on the website by any chance? Not this one. I had another one, but I think I'm going to make one with the pictures of the leg and, and the coil. Yes, please do so. And, and everybody else, please um, put your testimonials up onto the website so that everybody has access to them. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Douglas. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, everyone. Do we have more testimonials? Anyone else? I want to share you for a short time a picture. Yes. Fine. Yes, then go on. You can see the picture. Yes. This is the first test uh, where when I tried to obtain a gold cat. And uh, it's a beautiful uh, picture from the, you can, you can see the field. And on the left side, a uh, little plasmatic entity. Yes, it looks like something is growing there, huh? Size of a uh, copper nano, where it's a uh, nano cup, uh, nano copper. Yes, I have tried with uh, nano uh, copper wire and gold inside the bottle. Together, uh, no. When you have a first picture, no. No, and, the first uh, picture was uh, outside. Was another I, test. Uh, Okay, okay, thanks. But uh, this was the first test. And, uh, here we can see uh, fields and this little thing which growing up. Beautiful, thank you. Thank you. you use uh, copper, uh, nanoxide, and uh, gold. I yes. uh, I use uh, uh, gold and the uh, gold nano. Uh, it's like uh, it's nothing, I think. I must say I have uh, tested without that. This picture is uh, two years apart. Thank you. Is there more you're sharing or was that the last one? Dan? I, can I uh, explain yes. what? Okay, uh, how, uh, when the, I condition my Magrav with, with a uh, fridge, no? I measure uh, with the uh, earth, with ground and uh, this piece, this uh, piece. I share it now this video. I hope it's work because I said I have a, a high connection of. Oops, uh, I reshare 
for sound, no, it's not important for sound. Okay, play. Two hundred. It's low. With uh, no, I touch in. It's it's in air. I don't touch anything. And when I touch a board of a freeze. My multimeter is running crazy. Scale of uh, 66. Okay, this is one mile, one mile grow, uh, but uh, it's not, uh, it's up. Uh, this fridge is uh, with. Uh, how to say work in the background of uh, Magra, no, it in out of Magra. I have Magra and uh, I put uh, this frig and, uh, uh, and look, it's out of scale. Wow, that is going up very fast. Is that millivolt or yeah, it's probably millivolt. No, no. It's volt. It's volt. Yes. Out of scale. Yes. It's a lot of volts. It's over thousands of them. Two hundred. When it, when in the air it's two hundred, and when it's touching something, it's going crazy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, first, I have a ten volts. After twenty, thirty, uh, one hundred, two hundred. 205 and uh, after night in morning I have to measure mirror I have a nice surprise I try to make to one bulb uh, but uh, it's plasmatic okay this is interesting Anyone else have a comment on that? Yes, any more questions or comments? Anything else to share? Okay. Then I would think we meet again the second Monday of next month, which is the 9th of April, 2018. Okay, thank you everyone for coming today. This has been the 16th public meeting for testimonials for the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute, Monday, March 12th, 2018. See you next month. Uh, Thank you, everyone. Bye -bye. Thank you all. April 9th, yeah. Be sure to um, join us tomorrow. You have the um, Cash Plasma Reactor Group in the morning at 7 a.m. You can join if you'd like. That's the next public meeting. It's at 690-493. 485. Uh, isn't that on a Wednesday morning normally? Oh, yeah. I'm off a day. <laughs> it, it's the one Wednesday. Tomorrow's yeah. the Tuesday. That's right. Yeah, 31st One Nation, One Planet, One Race. Tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. Central European time on our standard public meeting number 939-474-503. So, yeah, so you can see you all tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. Please sure to join us. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Willie. Thank you, Flint. Thank you, everybody who participated. This is a great group. Yes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes. Yeah. Bye for now. All the best to all.